If you drive from here to the Pittsburgh area, you've seen the changing landscape if you've gone through I-376 in Beaver County. What once was a zinc smelting facility is now one of the largest construction projects of its kind in this part of the country. 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti takes us to the new Shell Cracker plant. While tens of thousands drive past it every day, you really don't get a decent perspective of it from the ground. This is the giant Shell Pennsylvania chemical plant under construction in Manaka in Beaver County. Most know it simply as the cracker plant because of what it will do. It, it, it's unbelievable. Recently, I was invited along with Valley Congressman Bill Johnson for a tour of the facility. Roughly 5,000 construction workers are here now, but that could grow to 6,000 by the end of the year. And in terms of what you see, we're at the point now where we've erected most of the large structures and what will be occurring here looking ahead is connecting the various pieces. The plant sits on more than 300 acres bounded by I-376 and the Ohio River where frequent barge traffic can be seen bringing equipment for the plant that was simply too large to get it here any other way. Without that in a, in a theoretical world where we didn't have an Ohio River here we couldn't have built the facility. Marr tells me location was crucial to building here. Not only is there access to highway, rail lines, and the river, the plant sits near the center of the Marcella Shale natural gas play, as well as a big chunk of Shell's potential customer base. Within a 700 mile radius of Pittsburgh are 70% of the North American polyethylene manufacturers. So they're the people who will buy our product from us. Once the plant is operating, it will take ethane extracted from natural gas drilling and pumped here from processing plants in Cadiz, Ohio and Washington County, Pennsylvania. It will be converted to ethylene in a process known as cracking and formed into little plastic pellets. These are used in all manner of plastic products from piping to food packaging. Marr says eventually the plant will hire about 600 operators, engineers and safety and environmental workers. They will, as you say, be both highly skilled and good paying jobs for certain. Marr tells me roughly half the plant's operators are from Ohio, and the company has already taken steps to ensure would be workers have the skills they need coming in. So, we worked with the local community college to establish a process technology degree program, and that is really the gateway into becoming an operator in the facility. But beyond the plant, there will be spin-off jobs. Mars says the plant will ship off upwards of 100 rail cars of polyethylene pellets each day, and the congressman thinks that's just the beginning. Plastics and textile manufacturers are going to be looking for ways to come into this region because they can park their operations right near their raw materials. In the meantime, construction here and on pipelines to feed the plant continue. There are still a hundred cranes operating here, including one that's the second largest of its kind in the world, taller than the Statue of Liberty. Its nickname is the mother of all cranes. It's nearly 700 feet tall. It's been here for several months. It'll be here till October. Work here could take another year and a half to complete. In Beaver County, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.